Today's Amp Dyno is on the Precision Power i650.1. Hey guys, we're here at the Amp Dyno and today we're dynoing the Precision Power i651. That's their 650 watt monoblock amplifier. As usual, we're going to take a look at the specs that they rate uh, their amplifier at. So over here to the right, the i651. At 4 ohms at 14.4, they say 400 watts. And at 2 ohms at 14.4, 650. Um, of course, it is a monoblock amplifier, so it is not bridgeable, of course. And uh, it is only 2 ohm stable, not 1 ohm stable. So we're going to go ahead and do the test, and we're going to come back with the results, and we'll see you in a few. Okay guys, so the results are in. So you can see our certified test for four ohms. We got 351 watts at 14.13 volts. At two ohms, we got 585 watts at 14.03 volts. Dynamic, uh, 491 at 14.18. And dynamic at two ohms, 662 watts at 14.13. So I know some people might say, like, oh, well that amplifier didn't quite make it. I wanted to actually say, we've been dining a lot of amplifiers lately, and what we've happened to notice is that a lot of manufacturers, and take just consider this before we go further. Look at the size of this amplifier. It's really small. But a lot of manufacturers are actually rating uh, the amplifiers on the box and in the owner's manual, really true to more of the dynamic rating, which for those of you that are watching for the first time or not, I've said it a million times, that represents like musical RMS power. So for those of you actually playing music, that is the amount of power that you're gonna be getting out of this amplifier. Um, and so in my book, this amplifier is really actually performing still per what the manufacturer states. So this is an incredible amplifier in size uh, for it to actually put out this kind of power here. So this amplifier still, in my opinion, meets our stamp of approval. Um, and, um, but you gotta check it out. It's nice, real small. And uh, normally, what we would do, or what we at least started doing, is opening them up and showing you the guts. However, there's this little guy creating us a problem here today. And I know most of you might say, I'll just peel it off, whatever. But um, obviously, uh, we don't want to do that because it would void warranty. And um, yeah, so. You're not going to be able to see the guts on this one. I'm sorry. There's going to be other videos that you will. So don't cry about it. But anyway, uh, for more information on the Precision Power i650.1, please visit sonicelectronics.com. And of course, make sure you subscribe so you can see more awesome videos like this. I'm Alan with Sonic. We'll see you next time.